Good morning and welcome to this week's The Positive Habit. I want to talk to you this week about the journey to self-love, which I'm hoping you're going to come with me. I want to talk in particular about a really important aspect of the book, and that is the audios, the hypnotherapy aspect. And as you'll know, if you have read my previous book, the best selling the positive habit, or if you followed my online course, you'll know that at the heart of the work is the audios, that they really make it unique in terms of working on a subconscious level. So everything that you read, the content, um, the exercises that you do are all reinforced. And in fact, where the real change happens is through the uh, repetitive listening to the audios. And it's lovely, I often say to clients, it's really nice to listen to this once. You're gonna feel relaxed and refreshed. However, it is the continual uh, repetition of them that really makes the difference. And in my new book, The Self-Love Habit, there are two audios that uh, I ask the reader you to listen to each and every day for a minimum of 66 days. And that is the first one in the morning is called Love to Rise. And it's a seven minutes meditation. And essentially it is geared towards helping you to set your intention for the day and to allow love to be the uh, energy that you really use to help guide you through the day rather than fear or anxiety. Then the second audio um, is Love to Sleep. This is a hypnotherapy audio and believe me every time I listen to it I just am asleep like that and um, so it's a very powerful uh, helpful audio to help you to get to sleep and to stay asleep. And at the same time, it's programming your subconscious mind to really cultivate the core uh, principles of the book, which I will explain more about in upcoming videos. But I wanted to just let you know um, the importance of listening to them, uh, to listening to both of them. So you're really topping and tailing your day and you're getting access to your subconscious when it's most malleable, which is that first time in the morning and last thing at night. So it's that kind of state where we are, we're not quite asleep and we're not quite awake. That's when we're, our subconscious mind is very much um, open and suggestible and where we have maximum um, ability to create positive change in terms of neuroplasticity and how, again, like I said, repetition is key. I say repeating it. <laughs> so um, that just gives you a little bit more of idea of what's to come. So thanks for watching and I look forward to loving to rise and loving to sleep with you in the coming uh, weeks and months. Thanks for watching and see you soon.